All right. Uh, hope everybody's having a good day today. Yeah, we're gonna be playing the game called Mortuary Assistance. Um, it's been a game that I thought was kind of interesting to me because uh, not everybody shares like the same notion on like death or something. But I like to, I like to think there's something interesting with like the life and death. Which, uh, I don't know, maybe it's because of, like, the, the process of, like, embalming or, like, uh, being, like, transferred into, like, the afterlife or something. But, uh, for me, it's always been, like, what what's, like, what, 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 what do, where do we go, like, after death, right? <laughs> so that, that kind of made me curious on, like, uh, what, what, what this game's about. Because, uh, if you don't know... Being a mortuary assistant means that you have to prepare a body. Either you have to do it by embalming them, or I think you have to... I think you have to burn them. But yeah, how are you guys doing? Hey, Rainbow. Hope you're, hope you're having a good night. But yeah, this game has been... Uh, it's been on my bucket list for a, about some time. And I felt, I felt as though I really wanted to play it. And who knows, maybe it might be fun. I don't know, I, I like the concept of it. Yeah, there there's like a... You have to... Well, I don't know, I, I'd say it's like a mortuary simulator, but it's also with a bit of... A bit of like horror game elements, I, I guess, with a little bit of jump scares. But yeah, that's what we're going to be doing, and... Uh, what, what, what else did I wanted to say? Oh, yeah, if you're wondering about, like, the title and why I, I titled that, it's because uh, I looked up some interesting facts on, like, the human body. So I took it off of, like, a website called, uh, what, what was it again? Hold on. I took, I took it off a website called Nectar, or Nectar Sleep. I don't know what that means, but... Yeah, it's, uh, it was written a couple months ago, and it says 90 weird and fun facts about the human body. So I feel as though, like, throughout all this, I might, like, spout out some, some fun facts here and there. Just so that, I, I don't know, to, it's just to make it a little bit more interesting. My family was in the funeral business since the 1900s. Nice. Well, I, I hope some of this stuff that you, you know about is a lot more realistic. In the game, I mean. Yeah, but, but I don't really know how to prepare bodies. All I know is that I'm not, like, hemophobic. So, for some of you guys can't, that can't stand, like, the sight of blood, I, I recommend, I don't know, maybe not watching that. But this is an advanced warning. Okay. Let's head into the game. I hope it's not too loud for you guys. If it is too loud, I'd have to turn it down. Okay. Sometimes, like, the game audio, it's a little weird. Because either it's too quiet or it's too loud. <laughs> let, me, let me get into the corner. Hey, Frosty Show. Hope you're having a good night. Alright, let's start a new shift. I'm not really prepared on like uh, what kind of things that goes on in like a mortuary. But I gotta be prepared. I'm so glad it's almost over. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I'll never understand why you chose such a macabre field. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. I really am. You come so far. Oh, wow, there's an actual story. That's so, interesting. You haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job in R or they actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. 
Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. No, I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. It's so Rebecca weird. Fields. Oh, Rebecca. They look very like old. That. Grandma, <laughs> even I've heard things about that place. I'd just be worried people about you. make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. I mean, we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghosts. I don't know why, now. like, it's, it's so fine, light right? outside. I'm sorry. You guys see it? But I wanted to give you this anyway. It's like every it's like the the rapture of God. <laughs> it's like <laughs> It's so light outside. I I don't know if I want that. Just take it, please. It should be yours anyway. Hey Greenleaf and Doc and Doug B. Hope you're all having a good night. Thanks. All right. Enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. When is all this happening? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. Ah. Hey, Flame Bro. We're just playing Mortuary Assistant. If you guys haven't heard, this game is just basically... Uh, what's it like being working as like a mortuary assistant which is literally in the title so throughout the entire game you're just gonna be embalming bodies and also maybe burning them it kind of depends all right here we go now what happened to the graphics I thought that that was all it's all about right the graphics and uh that, that's that's what it's all really all about and uh <laughs> it's i've been to two parties and i'm tired nice so we are a party out and you have a hangover is that it holy crap oh my god <laughs> hold on it, I got it set to ultra. I don't think we need ultra. I'm just gonna go medium. There. You guys see this? You, you guys see like how how we have like this uh, this movement here with the the mouse sensitivity. That's gonna get you killed in an FPS game. For me, I usually like to have like a, a quick sort of FPS look sensitivity. Okay, here it is. Uh, maybe a bit too fast. I was wondering, so if you guys are like uh, into like one day, imagine yourself like biting the dust. Like, would you rather be like cremated or would you rather be buried? And there's also like an option of being put into an urn. And some people have their ashes scattered across like the, the ocean or like Disneyland for some reason. One last thing I forgot to give you. Please grab a pencil from my desk. Okay. <laughs> Alright, sure. Use to sign the paperwork left on the door. Right mouse button. For me, I feel like... The natural thing is just to like, if I were to pass away, like due to old age, or like maybe eventually one day I might catch like a disease or something, I'd rather just go out like the the natural way rather than like getting cremated. Oh wow. Interesting. Oh, I'm locked in. Oh my god. They say you can't leave. You gotta work here forever. Huh. 
This is interesting. That reminds me of like Resident Evil. Kind of. Can I get out of this? Ah. <laughs> uh. Wait, how do I get out of the screen? <laughs> oh my god. Esk? I am pressing S, but hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm pressing like every single button on my keyboard right now. You know, the only thing dead right now is just my ability to actually get out of this screen. Like every button I press doesn't seem to work. How is that possible? <laughs> oh my god, okay, there we go. I, I forgot how to do it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the thing is I have to press the right mouse button. Nice. Alright. Well, now I know. Rebecca. Great. Perfect timing. I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring uh -huh. us Mrs. Page. Use the gurney by standing behind it and pressing the gurney interact key, then walking backwards with the gurney down the hall. Hmm. What is that? Huh. At least I know I'm smarter than a game journalist. To bring a body in or out of cold storage, open the bay with the body's name, pull out the rack, then move the cart over to it. Nice. I wonder if I can move it around. <laughs> Nobody said staying in the afterlife wasn't going to be hectic. Alright. Here we go. Alright, how do I do this? What is this? Oswald Dalton. Okay. In you go. Left mouse button. Um. Oh wait, I gotta pull that. Alright, I see. I see. I gotta pull this out. Don't worry guys, I got this. <laughs> Is this actually what happens in like a mortuary? You just do all this? It's kind of cool. Okay. Hey Crusader, hope you're having a good night man. Or uh, if you're having a good day. Nice. Alright. I swear, I, I feel like I'm not meant to be, like, cut out as, like, a mortuary assistant right now. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah. Oh. Okay, there we go. I'm a bit slow, but I'll get it. This is what happens when you're the first, uh, first time on the job. I don't know why, but it's always like so 
riveting for me to do, just like do something new that I haven't done, even if this is like morbid. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever have that experience of like trying to learn new things, even even if they're like scary or something that's like outside your comfort zone. How do I, how do I do that? Huh? Do I need like the file for him? Okay, hold on. Let me go back. Food? If you're having food, what kind of food are you having? I just realized I'm stuttering in the background a little bit. Oh well. I don't think it affects anything. Oh, you locked the drawers. Oh my god. Okay, I see how it is. You don't want the new employee to steal and dash. Oh, maybe I can flicker the lights. <laughs> you know, maybe summon Nosferatu. No, I can't. Okay. Okay, uh, maybe, maybe I gotta do that first. Oh, okay, I see. I can't put it below it. I have to pull it out first. Alright. There we go. That, that sort of makes sense, I think. Alright, nice. Alright, let's go! Now we're finally gonna learn how to prepare a body. Alright, I'm just finishing up something here. So why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks. I'll oh get yeah. get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. Hold on. Before we do that, I got like uh, this 90 fun facts for like the human body pulled up. Just so that we have something to actually like talk about. Yeah, so the first fact we have here is you tend to blink your eyes about 20 times a minute, which equals 10 million times a year, which is kind of worthless, but it's it's neat. <laughs> yeah, the next one out of the 90 fun facts is while your height stops growing after one hits puberty, your ears and nose are constantly lengthening and gravity is to blame for this. Oh, here's the third one. Our cornea, the transparent front part of our eyes, doesn't get enough blood supply and receives oxygen directly from the air. Yeah, so your eyes can breathe with, like, the, the oxygen, I guess. We gotta shorten that, but that's neat to know. Oh, here's, a, here's, a, here's another one. Did you know a weird fact about the human body is that it consists of so much fat that it can make up about seven bars of soap? Yeah, interesting. <laughs> okay. A clipboard. Ooh. All right. Yeah, I heard like, uh, I don't know very much about soap, but it's like, I wouldn't say it's like a renewable resource. It's like one of those resources that, uh, that people are kind of running out of. Which is really weird. Because uh, for, for me, I don't remember what like soap is made out of, but it's very interesting that we're running out of soap. I mean, there's other ways to make soap. It doesn't have to be that like that one resource.
cutting fluid. Hmm. Oh. Okay, I see. Alright. Here is her medical history. I wonder if mortuaries actually do this sort of thing. Age 87. I wonder what they died of. Huh. Alright. Let's examine the body. However, the cursor over unique markings such as mole scratches, bruises, and interact with them to record th them to the clipboard. Oh, I see some scratches. Nice. You guys want some feet pics? I know they're dead, but uh, it, it's it's all up for sale. Man, look at those nasty-ass looking feet. <laughs> okay. Oh. Aji didn't like that. These old windows never stay latched. Oh, I can crouch too. Ew. Damn, look at that. I don't have like a feet fetish or anything, but it is interesting to know that, uh, that there's like certain markings that again that mortuary assistants have to document. I thought it was like a like the hospital that usually does this. You know, they, they look for like a blunt force trauma. Yeah, just to see like in, in like a... To report it to like the police or something. I didn't think it'd be like the mortuary that does this. Damn. What big eyes you have, Grandma. Some big dead starey eyes. Oh god. You're giving us the back too. <laughs> I get I can make them I can make them have like a stroke. You know, you, you guys know that if you get like uh I don't know, uh electrocuted even when you're dead, your your body s sort of still reacts to it. It's sort of like if you got struck by lightning and you know, you, you passed away. It's still sort of... It, it, it's like it jolts, it jolts your body. It's kind of like this. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Yeah, I've also heard that if you were to, like, die... Uh, some people, they, they excrete, like, uh... Like, they didn't, if you didn't, like, go before you passed away, then when you do die, you release your, how do I put this, uh, your pee. Or, like, that yellow or, or white substance. This looks like dog crap. Wait, what's... Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the records. What happened here? Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. After that... We'll get started. Was she trying to pick up like the her her dog's crap or something? Then she got it on her hand before she died. Man, it sucks to own like dogs when you have to like pick up their their dog crap whenever you walk them. Like cats, though, are a little bit easier because you have like that scoop, right? They just have a litter box, and then you just scoop the sand over it, and you use that utensil to like pick it up and throw it away. But dogs are just, you know, they go wherever they want. Okay, let me see the report. Okay. So now we get like a deeper look. So we know she has a mole on her head. She has keratolysis. Hemonomia. Blemishes. Mild abrasions. And contusion. <laughs> contusion. Alright, interesting. Oh wait, what about her right shoulder? We didn't check that, did we? 
He seems to have like every disease known to man. Oh, we didn't get this one. Huh. Interesting. All right. River Fields Network, how to enter a cadaver. What was that? I didn't say anything. You all right? Y yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. Huh. Click the record system icon to open the program. Match the sections of your clipboard to the corresponding sections on the computer. Once all findings have been entered into the system, click submit to print out embalming records. Then file the records up front to begin the embalming. Alright. Oh, do I have to like enter it manually? Oh, wait. Oh my god, I, I wish I could have gave him like a special kind of name. <laughs> Dorothy Page just seems na lame, but okay. We gotta go by the book for this one. We can't have any fun at all. Nice. Alright. What happens if I forget something? <laughs> if I forget something, I, I don't... I, I don't think they're gonna dock my pay for it, will they? Alright. Damn, look at the physics on this printer. Look at that. Wow. A packet of mortuary paperwork related to the handling of the deceased. Fill up front so they are available if requested. Large item. <laughs> Ah, oh, look! They they even have like these uh, these foot these footprints here to tell you if you're you're too stupid to put an envelope inside like a a, a cabinet or something. To be honest, though, I I do need it. Time to embalm. Nice. All right. Oh, they don't have the footprints back. How will I ever find my way there? All right. I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Everything's okay. on your list there if you need it. Oh my god, look at these. They kind of remind me of like torture tools. Kind of. Especially this. It's a tool used for hammering, setting needle barbs into the skull. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that, that that seems like a lot. Do I need to get every single tool? I'm missing something. Oh. Setting the face. Pull the ma mo manipulator up and press the injector button to drive barbs into the skull. Then twist the wires to shut the jaw. Alright, hold on. I guess I gotta grab all the tools. IV reservoir bag. An IV bag is used for infusing embalming liquids into the organs and cavities. Trocar. Used for injecting cavity fluid directly into organs. A flexible, durable tubing used for various medical applications. I can't hold anything else. What? I mean, you don't have to hold them. You just, like, put them here. Setting needles. Barb with a length of wire used with needle injector to weld the jaw shut. Artery forceps. Used for grasping and compressing an artery. Eye caps. Used for holding eyelids shut. Where's the where's the diaper bag for holding in the crap? I know some old people need that. Moisturizing pad, a wipe used for moist mor moisturize the skin of the deceased. I can't hold anything else. You're damn right. I can't hold anything else. All right. What is this? Oh. I need uh 
Do I need like the IV bag? Oh, okay, that was it. Nice. Okay. I can't I can't use that here. Okay, no, hold on, hold on. You know, I can't tell if this is actually what you do in like a mortuary, but maybe they did do the research and you, you gotta insert this to clamp down on their teeth. You gotta sew it shut. Damn. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay, so that's what you were supposed to do. Alright, nice. Placing eye caps. Use the manipulator to open the eyelid completely. Interact with the eye to place the cap, then close the eye. Wait, did I break the other one? <laughs> no, wait, hold on. I didn't mean to have fun. Hold on. There. Alright. Okay. Alright, I put the IV bag in here, right? It can't be the clipboard. Hmm? Oh wait, maybe I need this. hold anything else what do you mean you can't hold anything else what <laughs> okay uh hold on let me oh wait hold on that's not it i can't use that here okay hold on hold on hold on there i'll drop my clipboard over there so i can pick this up Nice. Ah, uh, this ain't it either. Moisturizing wipes. I can't hold anything else. <laughs> okay. Oh. Can't hold anything else. All right. Uh, I guess I gotta drop the the tubing too. Actually, hold on. Let me drop these. Cause I have a feeling I gotta pick these up. Hmm. Huh. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly, and it can make them pop like that. Just keep doing your thing. I'll get it. Alright. Can you also pick up the clipboard and the other IV bags that I put down? Nice. Man, do I have to do this for like every single body? <laughs> okay, let me get the tubing now. I assume that's what I need. I can't, I can't use that here. Okay. Wait, what is that? Oh wait, no, that's, that's just the clipboard. Is there anything else that I'm missing? Oh! I see, we gotta cut something in the neck. Oh, god! <laughs> Some items need to be used directly on the body. To use an item, open quickly in the inventory and select the item needed. Okay. Oh yeah, if you're squeamish, don't look at this, okay? 
I know it doesn't look realistic, but if you have something against this, don't look I'm at it. I'm missing something. I'm missing something. We are? Oh wait, hold on. Uh, don't mind me. Let me just get the... the baby wipes. I can't use that here. Okay. I'm missing something. Huh? Wait, what am I missing? Oh wait, hold on. Hold on. I can't hold anything else. What what am I missing exactly? I th I thought we just like put I'm this missing in. Something. <laughs> huh. I can't use I can't use that here. Hmm. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Am I missing something? I need like turn something on. Maybe it's the IV bag. Hold anything else. Oh wait, what's this? Oh wait, no, 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 that, that's not it. Hmm. I can't use that here. I'm missing something. I'm missing something. What am I what am I missing? <laughs> huh? I can't hold anything else. I don't know what exactly I'm missing. I'm missing something. I'm missing something. What what are we missing? I can't turn this thing on. It's not the tubing, is it? Unless we shove the clipboard down her neck. Huh. Oh my god. I, I thought I did that before. What the hell? Okay. Okay, if you're squeamish, don't look at this. Oh, oh yeah, that reminds me. While while we're doing this, hold on. G give me give me one second. It, it might be a tad bit too loud. Okay, here's a, like another fun fact. Did you guys know that once the oxygen supply is cut off, a human brain can survive up to three to six minutes? Yeah, also, humans develop fingertips from the time they were embryos, only three months after they are conceived. 
This means that just after the first trimester, the baby has fully developed fingertips. That's kind of odd. I thought we'd be born with fingers and also like have the tips, but that's that's kind of cool. When a human blushes, they feel it in the lining of their stomach too, as also it it reds. It turns red. <laughs> All right. A weird fact about height is that when in space, astronauts can grow up almost up to two inches. Hmm. So I guess in space you really are taller. All right. I, I think I think the body's clean. <laughs> I think. I, I I think I think that's enough. We're we're draining everything but the the blood now. We're just draining the fat. Okay, let me take this out. Nice. Okay. What do I have to do now? What the fuck was that? Insert the trocar until it stops to begin the flow of embalming fluid. Once the cavity is full, pull the trocar back Rotate it, then reinsert until the reservoir bag is empty. Oh yeah, if you're squeamish, uh, don't look at this, okay? <laughs> it, 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 actually, hold on. No, no, it's it's fine. It, it's y y you have to look at it anyways. For some people, they can't stand the sight of blood. They're they're a bit like hemophobic. For me, I don't really have this problem, but some people do. There we are. Maybe maybe in like real life, it's a lot different compared to like in a game, because in in real life, the blood's like a lot more realistic. It, like it's obviously real, but. In a game, it's like not really all that realistic. What is this? Cleaner base, a solution of corrosion corrosion inhibitors. Add the scaler to create the mixture needed to clean embalming machines. Okay. I really hope I remember all these steps. <laughs> okay. Have you guys learned anything about being a mortuary assistant yet? Like, if you guys seen this process so far, would you want to, like, do this? As, like, maybe a one-time thing? I think most people would say no. For me though, if I were to do this in like real life, I wouldn't really mind all that much because I don't know. It's like uh, I want to be able to experience new things even though they might not be considered uh sanitary. I mean, but th there's like some things that I don't really want to do and it's like within like moral reasoning. But other times, it doesn't really hurt to do it. Moisturizing. Move the wipe across facial features while holding down interact until the lotion is used up. <laughs> the lotion, huh? Oh my god, you're so sweaty. Tell you what. What? Why don't huh? you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Hey, I get to go home. Are you sure? I oh. just got here. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. Okay, thank you, boss. I'll make you proud tomorrow. I'll, I'll make sure I memorized all this. Yeah, what do you guys think? Of our like first day. I think we did great. 
I'm kind of embarrassed that it took us like 40 it, it took me 40 minutes to do that <laughs> to finalize my stuff today. And he said you would. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Yeah. It just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just said it to get me out of the building. Oh, wait a sec. I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Excellent. You were doing me a huge favor. I took care of the rest of your onboarding. We're all set. Damn, you want me to take care of like three cadavers? I get a. I should pay like That's get right. paid like overtime uh, for that. I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. Uh, I, I'm not gonna lie. Doing like three bodies seems Holy like a shit. lot. That was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. See? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Thanks. I have to go. Like, right now. I'll talk to you later. Uh, where are my keys? It takes a certain person that can handle that kind of job. Yeah, I feel like it, it, it'd certainly be hard for everybody. Uh, I mean, especially if you're doing it on like the first day, like you're seeing a dead body, somebody that was like once living. It might be hard. I don't think I can do it too worried about the possible demon following me. Oh yeah, huh. There's like a... It kind of reminds me of like the time I went to a hospital. And uh, I don't know why, but when I got home and I went to sleep, I received like scratch marks when I woke up. And I thought, damn, maybe there's like a freaking ghost or something that, that did this to me. But in, in actuality, I was just kind of scratching myself. Uh, I don't know, when, when I was like sleeping. And it wasn't like a demon or anything. But, but that was like when I was a kid, okay? Death and Decay, a book covering the process of science of decomposition. Is that like a picture of maggots? Damn. Holy crap, look at this, uh, look at this pixel aspect ratio. It's so low poly. Alright, I gotta find the keys. Man, who who puts like toothpaste like on their refrigerator? Yuko O's. It supposedly doesn't have bees in it, but they're putting it on the box that's got bees in it. What? <laughs> what does that mean? Luna bites. Kinda tastes like leaves with sticks. Uh-huh. Alright. All right, found the keys, guys. Can we pick those up? Temporary items. Do not take up space in your inventory. Use a temporary item by directly interacting with that object that requires it. Okay. I think one of the, the things that has to do with this job is like uh, b doing like the night shift too, right? Because uh, if you guys had the option of like doing a, a job like during the night or during the day, like would you would you accept this like during the day or like during the night? Because for me, I'm more like a night owl than I am like a day person. I think it's called like a morning lark. But if like given the opportunity to try it once, I wouldn't mind doing it. Like uh, if it was during night time. Some people might get spooked though. All 
All right, let me lock the doors. Uh, you know, we'll just leave the door open. You know, every customer is always welcome. I will close the door. Oh, wait. Uh, who d who's doing this shit? Open the door, you bastard. Okay. Well, I guess we, we don't want customers. Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. I know you're scared. <laughs> I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? What? It's very sudden, but listen. We have to stay This isn't funny. Stop. We need to take this seriously. We need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll, I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. <laughs> you can't leave. You or your brothers. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Okay? We embalm and file... Gotta stay calm. No, wait. Oh, damn it. What the fuck? This is insane. Okay. This is so stupid. There's just some hazing for the new girl or something. <laughs> just, just play along and do your job. Okay. You know, I'm not gonna lie. If a boss told me that I have to be a mortuary assistant but also an exorcist, that's kind of a deal breaker for me. That's like two jobs in one. I I don't think I can be able to do that. Like maybe if I was paid like double the wage, I might consider it. But th this seems like an awful a lot for like a single person to take on. It kind of reminds me of like how there's like some jobs out there that might be that might seem too good to be true, and uh, you don't think there's like a catch, but they need you to do something that's not written in like the the, the the job description right rainy mood you must be a believer in god to really do that job yeah like i don't really want to do this like permanently but for me i feel like it's like a kind of an experience sort of thing so i don't really i wouldn't mind it as much but doing it every day that's that's not for me i can't i can't use that here Okay. I already have night shifts, so the hours wouldn't bother me, but the environment will definitely make me paranoid at night. I can quit it tomorrow. Maybe who does something like this? Ah. Is it my boss? All right, listen carefully. I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, yeah, I deserve at least 200 grand. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Uh. Look, I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. Well, you can pay me more. <laughs> you can start with that. Okay. Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. This is insane. Whatever. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Grab a body and get started. This kind of reminds me of like the the movie called The Ring, where it's like whoever watches like the the tape of like the girl climbing out of the well or some shit, and and it's like it's supposed to haunt you and it 
it comes out of like the TV or something and kills you based off of like whoever watched it last. This is kind of like the feeling I'm getting right now. Or it's like whoever joins this job or gets employed here, they're going to have to do this like every single night. Or like at least employ another person for this. ID card, huh? The Grudge? Kind of. Kind of reminds me of The Grudge. It's like a little both of everything. Okay. Alright, uh, where's the scribble pad? <laughs> there it is. It can be used to check how insane you are. Nice. Alright, let's get to work. I wonder if we can get it on our first try. Because I feel like the way he says it, like if we have to do like three bodies, we have to pick the right one that's like the demon, right? Hold on, let me, let me unlock the cabinet. Because he asked us to do this. Nice, what is this? Yeah, screw <laughs> whatever this is. I'm getting back to work. What is this? Baleful reagents. Okay. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and birth. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, <laughs> the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent. Huh. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold the letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They could be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. Anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them. So check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with. And use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigil. Oh god. Huh? 
All right. Well, uh, that that burned really quickly. Okay, where's the? Okay, there's the gurney. Well, I hope you guys got all that, cause I I I kind of did. Ah. Crummy old building. You lock me in here. You scare the shit out of me. <laughs> okay. Let's start with this guy first. Alright, get out of here, you sack of undead crap. Come on. Don't be shy. <laughs> there we go. All right, nice. Okay. Let's see what your name is, buddy. Damn, he looks kind of creepy. Okay. All right, let's check you out. All right, who are we working with? Scott Rays. Age 32. Okay, Scott. Let's see what kind of feet you have. Oh, God. I don't know about that. People aren't going to be interested in no scratch marks. Huh? Hello? Oh, Scott. What, what are you doing? I gotta examine you. Nope, Sit nope. back down. New job. I'm getting out of here. No, 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 no. Stay here. We gotta get this shit done. Screw this. I'm getting back to work. Oh, it says I ain't afraid of no ghost. That's the achievement. <laughs> I wonder if people actually like whenever it got dark, they panicked and then they went for the door. Like, would you guys actually do that? If, like, the lights automatically turned out, would you just go for the door? I don't know. For me, I wouldn't, like, freak out over it. I'd be like, what the hell? And if I had, like, a job, I'd, I'd probably just, like, stick to it. But maybe that's just, like, me. Okay. Okay. All right, you got a beauty mark. Nice. More than likely. Yeah, I feel like that's like a like a, most people's response. They would probably like just maybe flinch a little bit and then I don't know. Like for me, I feel like I like back when I was a kid, I used to believe in like ghosts and stuff and like supernatural beings. Because I feel like uh, since, since I was a kid, I was like afraid of the dark and uh, I don't know, afraid of like stuff under my bed or like in my closet or whatnot. But like over time, like when I grew into adulthood, I was like, you know, that that is the way that it is. And stuff like this probably don't really exist or, or maybe they do. I don't know. Okay. Oh yeah, we need the... Do we have all the... No, we don't. We need the... We need the tools. Okay. Alright. Let's get to work. I think I got everything. Oh wait, wait, hold on. I got a scribble. I don't know. I can't tell. Are we insane? <laughs> I scribbled a little bit, but uh, I don't know. Let me grab one of these strips. Uh... 
Hold on, let me let me do this real quick. I gotta see. I gotta find like all the sigils. So it's like a little bit of phasmophobia. It's interesting that they put this mechanic here. Huh. I'm also wondering if like the if I have like a time limit. Wait, what? Huh? That was weird. Anybody here? Okay, nope. Alright, I think I got everything. Or at least I think I recorded everything. Okay, buddy. Let's see what you got. Scott Ray's age 32. Man, this guy died really young. It's kind of sad. It kind of makes me wonder what's like the the actual cause of death on all this. Huh? Am I missing something? Yeah, same. A little. A little. That's kind of interesting. Oh wait, I see. I see. I missed this mark here. Okay, Froggy. Game's too boring for me. Have a good night. Gone to kick the with some wizard, but see you down the road. Hey, have a good night, Doctor Doug. Thank you for coming to the stream. I appreciate it. There we go. Okay, all right. I did miss some stuff. All right, left shoulder. Nothing. I think that's about right. Nice. Okay. Well, at least it's a little lenient. So if you mess that up, at least it tells you. Embalming. Okay. I feel like by the end of this game, I'll be like a mortuary assistant expert. But also an exorcist at the same time. Nice. All right. <laughs> you know, I'm actually getting the hang of this. There we go. Nice. Something. What? What are we missing? <laughs> need more eye caps? Oh, we need setting needles. Okay, I see. I already have one of those. Okay. I'm I'm missing something. Hmm. I kind of like this game for like it it's slow pacing or or maybe that's just like me but I I like I tend to like games that that aren't like action packed in, in any of that way. Do you guys know what I mean? I need the IV bags. Where are those? I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just like the type of person that doesn't like games where it's like, oh, I have to have like action every single second. I'm missing something. Hmm. Still missing something. What am I missing? Oh, 
Oh. Okay, I'm still missing something. <laughs> I already have one of those. I already have one of those. Huh? What exactly am I missing? Can't hold anything else. No, that's not it. Huh? I'm missing I'm missing something. I'm missing something. The eye cap things? That's odd because we did have like the eye caps here. But I'm missing something else. I can't be this. <laughs> this is like the, the pour into like the, the machine. Hold on, let me test my sanity. No, it's still it's still okay. I'm I'm missing something. Hmm. It can't be these because I got them already. Huh. Oh, I can open the 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 drawers now. The Book of Typhon. Is that some sort of underworld god? Wait, wait, what is this? I can't grab it, but I can open the drawer. Oh, this isn't it. I don't need the tubings. Hmm. Huh? Access card. <laughs> Raymond, I really need a key to the 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 hatch outside. Cleaner is low. You mentioned having some before. I know you don't trust anyone to go down there, but a cop having a copy of the key would make things easier for everybody. Okay. I guess we don't grab the key then. Oh. Rebecca, Raymond asked me to take over restocking the rest of the supplies in the embalming room, but he's so secret I forget. I feel like the different instructions every day, so sorry if that's not what you're used to. Could you ask him to stop calling me, Zoe? No one likes me. No one likes calling me that. Oh. Well, that didn't help me all that much. I did find an old key, but I don't know what it does. Oh! Oh, 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 I see, I see. Okay, there's extra drawers here. Alright, I should have known. Okay, I, I see, I see what you meant by eye caps. Now I know. <laughs> Okay, I should have just checked them. Alright. There. All right. Thank you, Rainbow. I thought he already had eye caps. Okay, next thing ne next time I know for 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 when when I need them I'll, I'll check the drawers too. What? Oh, I need to turn on the machine. Okay, I see. 
All right. Can't hold, hold anything else. Okay, let me let me drop these real quick. Okay. Next time when I do this, it'll be a lot faster. If I if I know where everything is. Who's banging? Hmm? Hey, calm the fuck down. It'll be your turn next time. I wonder though, does that make them the demon? <laughs> Toby Larone? I don't know, you can ask us. I'll remember his name next time. Okay, I got these, I got this. And what else? Need one more. Huh. There. Okay. Oh, I need one more. Huh? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, let me scribble now. Oh, okay, we really are going insane now. You know, while I'm at it, I think I'll pull out the... Pull out the strip. Okay, we're good. I need one more thing. It's not the tubing. I need one more chemical. Oh wait, it's not the it's not the IV bag, is it? I, that can't be it. That's not it. Okay, no, that's not it. I'm missing one more chemical. Hmm. What am I missing? What happens if I just add more of this? <laughs> that's not it. Okay, no, that's not it. All right. That's not it. Hmm. I'm missing something, but I don't know what it is. I mean, it, it can't be this thing. It's for like demons, and there's no way every single one of them are demons. It, it can't be more of this, could it? That's not it. Uh huh. I 
I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of confusing. But I feel as though once I get to, to know where everything is, it'll be a lot easier. That's not it, that's not it, that's not it. Huh? That's not it. What, are, what am I missing? Okay, let me let me put one of these in here. <laughs> can't hold anything else. I, I I know it can't be right, but I don't know. There's no harm in doing it, is there? Okay. Are you really? <laughs> Even if they might not be a demon. Okay. Well, uh, sure. All right. Okay, let me let me read some uh, some fun facts again. Okay, here's number nine, guys. There are tumors known as teratomas, which can grow their own teeth and hair. Yeah, number ten is like the basically the title. Yeah, number 10 was your heart can sink to the rhythm when you listen to music. Which is kind of interesting to me because if you listen to rock or you like you listen to heavy metal, I feel like the I feel like your heart would basically have a heart attack at that point. <laughs> Cuz of like the rapid pace, maybe maybe I'm wrong, maybe your heart doesn't actually do that. But I thought that was kind of funny. Personally, I'm not into like rock and roll music, but Damn. Alright, so uh, number 11 is throughout their lifespan, humans can go from having 300 bones to 206. Yeah, that, uh, that I don't know why. Maybe it's because your, your bones fuse together, I think. But that's pretty cool. Alright, let's take this machine off them. I think he's ready. Oh wait, uh hold on, let me let me clean the the machine. Any demons? Oh, wait. Is it you? Oh, wait. Oh, it's you, you stupid bitch. Okay. It's Sh Shina Norton. I think. I don't know. What do you guys think? 
it is it's, it's kind of I don't know that's kind of sus all right let, let me let me put it away all right that's interesting um I'll keep the I'll keep the tag in mind though what is this cremation bag all right Oh. Uh I'm missing this. I already have one of those. Oh, I need another scalpel. Okay. I'm missing something. Uh, okay. All right. I'm missing something. Okay. Nice. Don't worry, next time it will be a lot smoother. I can feel it. Damn, look at that crunchy sound. I mean, can you guys hear that? It's so crisp. I don't know. It's like a sound that isn't like there. disgusting, but but it's like mildly disgusting. <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. Oh, I kind of feel like it's transforming into a perfect circle. Are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? Kind of. Okay. <laughs> Feeling the burn. All right. Now I gotta wipe him down. Actually, no, I gotta clean the tank before I can wipe him down. He doesn't seem like he's possessed. He seems like he's fine. Like the other two, probably. Okay, let's, let's make that skin sparkle. Damn. So beautiful. What a beautiful little boy. Wait, so what happens if I just cremate all of them? <laughs> I mean, I feel like it wouldn't make much of a difference, but still. Alright. Hold on, you'll get your turn in a minute. Okay. I don't know. Uh, China or Toby? I'll go with Toby first. Huh. Alright, my sweet prince. I don't know. Maybe just his face. It just to, to me, it feels like it's guilty already. I already have one of those. Okay, and you need to get the eye caps. Need another. I have one of those. Another troll car. I need, I already have one of those. Another 
setting bar. I already have one of those. Okay. All right. Nice to know we already have one of those. Okay. Let's get to work. What What is his name? He is Toby Lerone, age 36. No noticeable marks. Mm -hmm. Some blisters. Some more blisters. Nothing. <laughs> there we are. Okay. That seems about right. You only ever had like blisters. See, I told you guys I would get this like done real quickly. Like I'm not like a fast learner by any means, but I am pretty good at what I can do. Just give me a little bit of time, and I'll get it done. Alright. Let me get that over there. Huh? Wait, no, 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 put this away. What? Wait, 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 what? What? <laughs> wait, what happened to the report? Okay, I'm I'm just gonna assume I already placed that there. Okay. Easy as clockwork. I feel like for me, if I were to ever do this, like at some point, I'd probably get used to it and maybe like the smell of like dead bodies or something. <laughs> but it, it'd be probably a long time. Like, and maybe, maybe, like, I, I don't know. Like, even if it pays like a ton of money, I, I can't imagine me doing it. Okay, let me get this. Get that. And I'll pick this up. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what, what I'm filling this guy full of, but he's gonna get the, the full treatment here. Hello? 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 Why are you still doing this? <laughs> I'm going to kill you, Rebecca. Yeah, okay, lady. I don't know about that. It's kind of interesting that, uh, that we're using like all the, the scalpels. It's like we're discarding them. Is it because of, like, uh, how you don't want to transmit bacteria? Okay. Now it begins the process. Alright, where were we? Okay, we are at number 13. It says, all humans are born with a diving reflux, which can shut down bodily functions. Let's guess activated when one drowns or is submerged in water. I don't know about that. <laughs> I... 
Yeah, I, I don't know about them having like a, a diving reflex. Because either you get to learn how to swim or you don't. That just seems odd to me. Some people would kind of just sink in the, the ocean or like sink in the, the lake or a river just like a rock. Oh. Oh, this one's interesting. Number 14 says humans can glow in the dark. However, they are too weak to, for a human eye to detect. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I mean, I guess that's one of the reasons why we have like heat seeking like vision, right? Or like thermal vision, I mean. Yeah, humans are actually glow in the dark. Do you guys believe that? Nice. Uh, I assume we get another scalpel. I'm missing something. Okay. Uh, let me get the IV bags. Would have been a cool disco party. Yeah. If only we could see people glow in the dark. That's our one kryptonite. That's our one weakness. All right. <laughs> Man. That, that scraping sound though. Who is it? Is it is it Pizza Hut? Uh, hello, I, I need to report a missing person. Uh, sorry, uh, her name is Rebecca Owens. She's fourteen. And she, she she has a drug problem. Wow, that's great. So we should... uh, I I don't, I don't know. Uh, she was here at the house. Hmm. I understand that. I need you to check them. <laughs> Can you imagine you have like a family member that just like says that stuff? I know there's like some people that have like family members that are like, I don't know, paranoid or like actually kind of insane. Where they have like dark and creepy thoughts. But they feel the need to like say it. Okay. Oh, I got, I think we got everything done here. I think what I'd need to do next is just get the, the cleaning liquid. Okay, that kind of startled me. I need to report a missing person. Huh? She she has a drug problem. Was I too slow? Uh, to be fair, you, 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 Frosty Snow, you, you did get your disco party. There's a ton of lights. What? Damn, we party too much. <laughs> Let me just get this. 
nice. We had too much fun with the dead bodies. Oh, that's... We don't do that yet. Wait. Oh, wait. No, no, no. We do. Okay. Okay. Almost there. I already have one of those. One more body. Oh, wait. But, but first, hold on. Um, I gotta, I gotta make sure I, I, already have one of those. I, I gotta make sure that, uh, th that this isn't like the demon or anything. I'm gonna be so sad if I get the wrong one. Hmm. Are full. A matchbox? Why would I need that? Huh? Is there like a symbol here that I'm missing? Or a sigil? I don't think you're supposed to bleed when you're partying like that. Well, sometimes maybe we party too hard. <laughs> we party too hard and then somehow we die. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not seeing the sigil. Huh. Maybe it's like really small. Now let me grab one of these papers again. Oh, why is the room dark? Uh, actually, let me... Let me go back there and turn the lights on. I have a feeling if I go go in there, I'm just gonna insta die. <laughs> it's just just the sneaking suspicion. Okay, never mind. I guess. Hmm. Uh, I guess uh, I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to go in there anyways. <laughs> I literally can't see anything, man. Need like a spark plug or something? Or would I get one? Or a fuse, I mean. Okay. I'm missing something. Oh yeah, yeah. I need the wipes. I gotta wipe them down every single time. This is kind of fun. All right. Okay. Let's go. Hopefully, the lights automatically turn back on. Let's go! Okay, I can't see a thing, man. <laughs> let me let me just turn the lights on. There. Okay. Nice.
Okay. Got one more person. It is Shayna Norton. I'm not gonna lie, she kinda feels like the demon. She has that look. And I'm pretty sure she's also in the thumbnail. Something sus about her. I already have one of those. Is there anything here? It's like one mark? Oh wait, uh, let me check the other hand. No. Maybe the feet? <laughs> no. I don't think they have anything else. Unless maybe I'm going crazy. Oh wait. They're back, I see. There we go. Alright. That lag's kinda sus. Usually demons or people don't actually do that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got the power of supernatural strips on my side. What? Hmm. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, what is this? That's the first of the sigils, so I need like three more. It's not on their bodies either. Oh my god, look at this dude's crotch. That's kind of sus. <laughs> That's. I didn't see that before. You guys see that bulge? Alright, so we have that. Uh, let me... Let me put that on the, the plaque there. I think it was this. Okay. Alright, let me get another one of those strips. It seems like a difficult game to try and play. Like, uh, especially if you have to, to, to know what the demon is. This one was where I was kind of stuck on. Hmm. It's not a sigil here. Unless I missed it. Huh.
Over the front door? Over the front door. What? <laughs> what? Okay, well that kind of startled me a little bit. I don't usually get scared when it comes to like horror games, but I do get startled from time to time, which I do understand. Oh! I see, thank you Rainbow. Okay, I, I see it now. Alright, this one's a apostrophe with a... I don't know what kind of character that is. All right. Okay, so we got two out of the four. So do, I guess we have to like figure out the the other ones. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I guess we have to do this first. Okay, let me get the clipboard out. All right. Let me let me enter the dialogue. I mean, let me enter the into the system. Nice. Okay. I already have one of those. Nice. We'll get this in no time. Wait, what? Huh? D did I not grab the form? Huh? <laughs> people make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. No one's involving any ghost bodies or whatever. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I see where we are going crazy. All right. Hopefully, we get more uh, more sigils. You know, it'd be kind of cool if, uh, if, if like this, uh, this paper like lit on fire in the rain. So far, though, no, no other supernatural presences. Um, what what did I need to do? Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I need I needed to to put the the form into the the here. There. All right. Sometimes I kind of lose track of what I'm doing. Maybe it's because I'm too enveloped in the game. <laughs> Nice. All right. See, I'm getting the hang of this. It's not that hard, I think. Though I have a feeling I'm I'm probably gonna forget this late later on. If I if I play this again. <laughs> Wait, what? I can't use that here. 
Why can't I use that there? Hello, Grandma. <laughs> I'm trying to let you in. Why are you standing in the rain? You can come through the front door. You can go through the front door, are you stupid or something? Like the 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 front door is open. <laughs> no, she's gone. Probably from the front door, anyways. That that's not it. Hmm. What do, what do I need? I don't- I can't put this in. Oh, I can. Okay. Alright, maybe that was just me then. I have mental. Men- menthol. Okay. Now let me put this in. Gotta make sure that we- we purify all the bodies. Okay, I put that in. Did I... What What didn't I put in? Formaldehyde? Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, let me get some tubing. Easy. I can't imagine people like fainting over the sight of blood. Though. Like I haven't really seen this sort of thing like in real life. Like, do you guys uh? Like, when you take, like, a blood test where they have, like, an injection, and they have the needle, they stick it in your arm, do you guys, like, look away? Like, for me, I, I tend to just, like, look away because I don't really want to take a look at the needle or anything. Oh, we can see her butt now. Oh. <laughs> I knew she had a flat ass. Yeah, this really is like a, a game, isn't it? This is a, definitely one of the games of the, the century. Combining f ghost hunting mechanics, being a mortician, and now we have a whole adventure. Of, like a dream sequence almost. What? <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> Apply moisturizer. Fix cleaners in the bath crate tank cleaner. Okay. 
Wait, what is this? Huh? I don't get what that means. Hmm? What are we trying to do? I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of confused. <laughs> oh, also, I can't put away the strips. I can't, I can't use that here. Okay, now I can put it away. Am I supposed to pull this? Huh? I don't think we're supposed to, like, get on top of them, but cool. Hmm? This is what I'm kind of confused by. What do we do? I just, like, move on ahead? No. Did I lose or something? What what happened? I don't even know what she's trying to say. Uh okay. Um Yeah, that's kind of cool, but... I don't get it. What am I supposed to do? Am I just stuck here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's that? Oh. Oh, oh, okay, well, I never would have thought I'd just pick up a rock, but sure. I'm so sorry. What a familiar voice. Be more comforting. <laughs> <laughs> just let me know, Rebecca. It won't <laughs> I don't know why we're hitting him with a rock, but that was, that was cool. Reminds me of like the 1950s slapstick kind of humor. I mean, I know it's supposed to be serious, but it's just... it's. I don't know. Like for me, I feel like maybe the if it was like real life or something with like graphics that, that are like a lot better and there's like a better written narrative. I'd feel like maybe sorry for it, but I don't know. That was like more funny than what it when it was sad. <laughs> okay. What was the next clue? Oh. Uh this one's uh a tea, I think. It's a weird looking tea. Well, we got like uh, like one of the sigils. I mean, we we almost got them all.
All right, we need one more. I'm missing something. Oh. Uh I'm missing something. Okay, hold on. Let me get this. Get that. I already have one of those. Oh. Uh let me get the IV bags. Where were they? Hmm. Oh, here they are. I can't hold anything else. Oh, wait, that's why. Okay, I see. I'm doing it out of order. Hold on. There. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. And those are some crunchy sounds. Nice. Okay, uh... Huh? <laughs> I don't know, it's like, it's, it's like, it, it's such, there's like a certain charm to it that it's like a horror game, but it doesn't like feel like it tries too hard to, to scare you, I, I guess. Or maybe, maybe I'm wrong about that, I don't know. All right. I can't use that here. We need like one more sigil. I guess maybe it's to say that I even though I I used to watch like horror movies, those things don't really scare me anymore. Maybe it's because I've been like used to like horror movies that I don't really get jump scared. Like I get startled, but I don't really think about it too much. Okay. Where's my access code? Five six nine one one five. Nice. Okay. Uh, so we gotta identify it. The sigils of demonic names. Damn, we gotta have like the, the admin password just to access the Wi-Fi. <laughs> well, that's kind of difficult because we have Immolation and we have Insidious. I mean, Invidious, right? Wait, 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 wait. So we have to match the, the sigils here. With the, the sigils we have so far. Okay, we have this and we have that. Hold on, let me let me check the sigils. Let me check what we have so far. K 
Okay. Do you guys think it's a ball mint? Because <laughs> so far, we only have like three of the sigils, and it seems like this is very fitting. Whereas like the other ones, they don't really match at all. Hmm. I also have to like put them back in order though. Okay, uh... I know it's not desolation. That's that's definitely not it. It's not very fitting. Oh wait, hold on. It could be an ooze carret. It, oh wait, no, 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 it can't be. It's because of this letter. I'm leaning towards the ball mint. I've never heard of these demon names before, but I'm uh, I'm willing to put the I'm put, I'm willing to put the circle of uh, of exorcism on this uh th this this corpse here. Okay. Uh All right. Uh I'll put this up here and then I'll put these other two over there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can you calm down? <laughs> okay. Oh god. Okay, that actually startled me. <laughs> That's... It's like when you least expect it. Okay, that over there. Um, and then this over here. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think this is right? I mean, this is like the first time on like our... Well, I wouldn't say like the first day. This is our second day on the job. But I think the, the sigils match, so I think that's like the only thing that should matter. Alright. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can't use that here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I gotta take a chance though. Let me. Hold on. Let me let me drop the more moisturizing pads first. Cause I gotta clean the tank. Okay. I really hope I got it right. Hmm. Let me let me check one more. Oh, oh god. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Let me let me check one more time. Does any of them look sus? I mean, they they all kind of look the the same. I mean. I'm willing to, to to bet that she's the the demon. They look fine. They look dead. Hey, Wally. Hope you're having a good night, man. How's work lately? Yeah, we're just doing a little bit of uh, being a mort uh, mortician assistant. At least we're trying that out. All right. I'm missing something. Yeah, we're trying to find out what a, what what a demon is. 
in uh, in this game because that's also part of our job description. I don't know why, but it does make things a little bit more interesting. Oh, moisturizing wipes. I'm missing something. Okay. Nice. I mean, do, do we... The, the thing is, do we have to do all this if we're just gonna burn the body? All right. Like, it, it feels kind of stupid. <laughs> I don't know. Now I kind of doubt myself to thinking that it probably isn't the demon. Alright. But uh, I'm gonna try it anyways. It's gonna suck if we do we don't get it right, cause then we're gonna have like three bodies that we have to go through again. But what what do you guys think? Did you think we get it right? Come on. I, I I can't tell. <laughs> Did we kill the demon? I think you got it. No, I may, maybe may, maybe I didn't get it. Maybe I was just like a regular human that came back to life. Maybe maybe that's just the person that wasn't dead. It's nice not to be the one down there for a change. Oh my god. Okay, thank God. Raymond. <laughs> Okay. D did I make it? Is it over? For now. It's never really over. I'm not gonna lie. Come a long way. Uh, it's a lot to learn. The, the scribbles didn't help. <laughs> I know it's disorienting. You'll get used to it. You should head home and get some rest. Every night can be different. Uh huh. I think I'm fine. Oh my god, we got it wrong, didn't we? What are you? Oh no. You chose the wrong body. Rebecca. What the fuck? Here, you fucking idiot. <laughs> we got it wrong. And drink it as nuts from the pit of a brain. Ah, god damn it. Oh god. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I don't want to go through three whole bodies again. Oh, at least we completed the shift, right? Now we're like the the now we're like the manager. So that's that's pretty good. It's not the ending I intended, but <laughs> Well, I mean that that was that was mortuary assistant. <laughs> I, was, I I don't know about doing this again though. That, that seems like a lot. Uh, uh. Damn, <sighs> that's such a shame. Finding out like who the demon actually is, is just feels like it's so difficult. But I, I thought we did get the demon because it, it came out in the end from the, the, the furnace, right? Damn. Uh, I don't know. I, I might have to like do a little bit of research on my own to see how we can actually find the demon. I'm not gonna lie because like, if I have to find out who actually like it is, I, I don't really know what like what what the tips are cuz i don't really find any markings i don't see like any differences on the bodies or or maybe i did, i'm not like looking too hard on it okay uh but yeah uh i don't know i'm going to call it here
But I ain't gonna leave you guys without any more fun facts, though. Yeah, Wally, if you don't know, we were also, like, having some fun facts, too. That's why the, the title of the, the stream is a bit weird. But uh, we're on, like, uh, number 15. Of, uh, of 90 human fun facts. So number 15 says, The human body consists of organs in a singular count in pairs. However, the organs that are present in pairs, you only need one to survive. Isn't that kind of the same thing with like a liver? Okay, so th that's why I get it now. Yeah, number 16 says, When your body experiences extreme starvation, there are chances that your brain will start to eat itself. Which, I, I don't know about that. I know there's like people out there that went like 300 days without eating. So I don't know about the brain eating itself. That one's I'm, I'm pretty skeptical on. Like, isn't there such a thing called like ketosis? Where your body enters that state where you haven't eaten in a couple of days. So it feeds off of like your body fat. Yeah, number 17 says, Your small intestine is taller than you and measures about 23 feet. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Number 18 says, One fourth of the bodies of, of the bones in the human body are in feet. Nice. It makes me kind of wonder what the rest of the where the rest of the bones are. One fourth. That, that's that's a lot. A horror game. I was just watching Bury Alive. I missed it. I think. No, no. We're we're just uh, we're just ending it. I thought I I thought it'd be fun to read like some of the rest of the fun facts. You guys want to see like where where I'm getting the fun facts at? Hold on. Give me one second. There, yeah. Th this was where I get I was getting like the fun facts from. That's why you see the the title of the the stream like uh like this. Your heart can sink to the rhythm when you listen to music. But yeah, there's some interesting things here. If the medical area of the frontal lobe is removed, memory formation becomes impossible. From the patient HM incident, super cool to look into. Yeah, I'll look into like some more uh, some more stuff because it is very interesting. That's one of the reasons why I was playing like Mortuary Assistant or considered playing it. It's not that I have like a fixation on death or anything. I just think it's very curious. Like the the whole embalming process, and uh, and Rainbow's uh, Rainbow's family has been like in the the mortuary business since the 1900s, so yeah, that's that's what I found out about today, which is super interesting. I didn't know I didn't think they were in like the mortuary business. Also, if it happens slowly during childhood, a person can. St be fully functional with a thin outer layer of their brain. Hydrocephalus has caused it. Okay, I'll read one more. But that's that's interesting about hydrocephalus. My mom's a nurse, so I know most of this medical stuff. You know who else is a nurse? I Someone I forgot to promote today? Yeah, Jury. Jury was also a nurse. But she gave it up to become a content creator. <laughs> But mostly because she didn't enjoy it. Alright. Uh, being a nurse is really hard. Especially when it comes to like the hours and how much you have to put in in terms of effort. And there's like so many people out there that you have to look after and care for. So for her, she, she decided that like making content was a lot easier. And it's something that she's super passionate about. Which I do, I do see. And it's funny that you should mention the, the nurse thing. I've read several neuroscience textbooks. Hold on, let me let me turn down the sad music. <laughs> let, me t <laughs> let, let, let me turn down the sad music. Hold on, Jesus. There. 
there. Here's some thinking music. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna call it here. Uh, I know, I know it's a bit of a strange stream having to stream something that is have to do with like dead bodies and all that. But uh, I, I thought it was mildly interesting. I probably may or may not play this again because I don't understand it fully. <laughs> Because uh, I don't know which which person is actually the demon, so I need to figure that out, obviously. Yeah. Oh, uh, if you guys are new and you want to visit my friend Jury... Well, I wouldn't say friend. I don't know what it is anymore, to be honest. Maybe acquaintance. Hold on. Uh, give me one second. I wish Phoenix here was here to plug this. Uh, give me one second, guys. Yeah, if you want to, you can go subscribe to her. She comes up with some unique ideas of her own. I'd I I'd actually appreciate it if you guys like do that. He's growing like at like at like a super fast pace too. But yeah, thank you all for joining me. Hope you hope you guys take care. And I'll see you guys on Sunday. Wait, not Sunday. On uh, on Wednesday. I don't know what we're gonna do yet, but uh, I'll figure that out, okay? I rarely see Finny, to be honest. Well, Finny, he, right now he's in a bit of a tough spot. Uh, so he's kind of thinking about other things in life. And I do hope like the, the best for him. Because he's going through the motions right now. That's why he's not usually here. But I I, I, I I do appreciate you guys coming to the stream and supporting, though. Thank you all. Yeah, have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Oh, thank you for moderating, too, Flame Bro. Thank you. <laughs>